Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is Leaky X. A security researcher named James Litwin has disclosed a zero-day vulnerability that affects iOS devices that sync to Exchange servers, and he calls this vulnerability Leaky X. According to Litwin, when an iOS device, or say an iPhone, synchronizes to an Exchange server, it will automatically send the user credentials, the name and password, without any any sort of encryption, just in a post command that's base64 encoded, which means not really encrypted at all. It's something anyone can reverse. Now, what's bad about this is it does so over a unsecure connection. According to Litwin, this is all part of the initial TCP handshake to exchange servers. It's not part of the SSL encrypted communication. Long story short, this means that if an attacker can get your iOS device to uh, sync with it as an exchange server, or if an attacker can do a man-in-the-middle attack and can capture your credentials being sent to an exchange server, he'll get your clear text exchange credentials, which by the way are typically your Active Directory credentials as well. By the way, this is a zero-day vulnerability. Litwin has released his uh, schedule of how he's informed Apple. According to him, he found this uh, vulnerability back in February and he did report it to Apple and later Microsoft as well. He says that that Apple claims to have known about this vulnerability for a while and asked that he didn't disclose it until the iOS 11 release. However, more information has come out about this vulnerability, so the researcher decided to go public, even though there's no patch available for this issue. Now, how bad is this? Well, the good news is one way of attacking you is trying to get you to uh, set up your iPhone to sync to a malicious exchange server. I don't think that's a major attack vector. You know, how many users are going to set up an exchange server to some weird server out there. Now the researcher has mentioned it could be used in phishing emails. For instance, an attacker might pretend to be your administrator and tell you to sync to a new exchange server, but I like to think that not many users would fall for this. However, the man in the middle attack is pretty significant. Say you're connecting to a Wi-Fi network in a coffee shop, there's a chance someone might capture your exchange credentials. And again, these are often your corporate Active Directory credentials as well. So that would give an attacker a whole lot of capability to log on as you at wherever you work. So how do you protect yourself against this? Well, really you have to wait until iOS 11 for the real fix. In the meantime, be careful setting up new exchange servers on your iOS device. Definitely don't react to weird emails telling you to uh, connect to a different exchange server. On top of that, you might want to always be aware of this man in the middle potential. If you're in some sort of open network, maybe use VPN before connecting connecting to your email. In any case, hopefully Apple will fix it with that iOS 11 release. By the way, if you're a Microsoft user, do know today is Microsoft Patch Day. I decided to skip that story until tomorrow because I thought this was more interesting. But if you are a Microsoft administrator or even use Adobe security products, be sure to be aware that Patch Day is actually today. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.